Now, a rare type of solar eclipse has taken place with large crowds gathered in parts of Australia and elsewhere to see the spectacle. The hybrid eclipse, as it's known, takes place when some parts of the world experience a total eclipse, whilst other parts witness an annular eclipse, the ring of fire around the blacked out area. Our correspondent, Phil Mercer, is following this for us in Sydney and he's at the observatory there. So, Phil, what did you see? Well, not much is the simple answer to that. Here in eastern Australia, especially in Sydney, it was very cloudy and rainy. So at the moment of totality, um, we barely saw anything here. But it was a very different story on the other side of the continent, on the northwestern tip of Western Australia, around the town of Exmouth. They, the people there, thousands have gathered, uh, enjoyed quite uh, possibly the light show of their lives. Now, just before totality, that is when the moon crosses over in front of the sun to obscure the sun. Just before that, uh, they would have seen a burst of light coming over the moon to give it an appearance of a diamond ring. They would have also seen those with the appropriate equipment, uh, ruby red solar flares coming from the sun as well. So this would have been the um, experience of a lifetime for those thousands of people who have swelled the population of this small coastal town in Western Australia. So the eclipse in that part of the country lasted for about three hours. But um, the business end, the most dramatic point was uh, that uh, total eclipse of the sun. And that lasted for 58 hours seconds so people would have had to have savoured every single moment of this spectacular light show. Um, you say it's a once in a lifetime and I know where you are there in Australia for the native Australians the Aboriginal people this is something that they have followed for generations as well. Yes, we've been speaking to Australia's science agency, the CSIRO, and um, they're explaining to us that before modern science, um, they could only guess, but of course, uh, in the dim and distant past, when the solar eclipses would have occurred around the world, uh, various people would have reacted with extreme fear and trepidation, perhaps uh, the harbinger of uh, the end of the world. But of course, modern science now tells us that this is uh, a sign of the beauty and the power of the universe and uh, what people in Western Australia have been enjoying is this uh, immense moment of uh, cosmic symmetry of the sun, the moon and the earth all moving into line and there's a great scientific dividend to this as well. Scientists at the Science Agency here in Australia say that uh, these uh, events give them the opportunity to test new telescopes and also to explore more about the sun's atmosphere, about solar wind, solar flares and also learning more about distant galaxies as well. So um, this has been a, a fantastic opportunity for them and the thousands of people who've gathered in Exmouth here in Sydney of course, as I've explained, it was raining and it was cloudy, so we saw very little here. But in 2028, we are um, due a solar eclipse in Australia's biggest city, so uh, people here will have a, a few more years to wait for that. OK, Phil Mercer, didn't see very much, but lucky you. Um, I think you saw a little bit or something, more than us anyway. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.